I can't stress this enough, you guys, like we all struggle. It's true, of course, every single one of us, we struggle. It is what you do in the midst of your struggle. It is what you do after your struggle that you will really determine where your life is going to go. What do you do in your struggle? What do you do with your struggle? Do you seek resolutions? Um, do you seek ways to help yourself or do you just allow it to, to keep you down for a prolonged period of time? Physically, mentally, emotionally, that is what is going to get you results by working on th these things. Be patient with yourself, you know, stop bullying yourself. It's not helping, it's worsening matters. So don't bully yourself, be patient with yourself, but nonetheless, absolutely have some self care in your life. Hello, 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 beautiful divine people. What is up? It is your girl Davion. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for stopping by to watch this today. And if you're new to this channel, hello, how are you? And welcome with open arms. Hola, como están y bienvenidos. If you are beautiful on the inside, then you are beautiful on the outside. That is what I believe. And um, so on Wednesdays, is we focus on the inner. Fridays is for the outer. Get woke Wednesdays, get thirst Fridays. And so yeah, if that sounds like something you guys would want to keep up on and continue watching, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you will be notified. Well, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video twice per week. So today I want to focus on you, you, you. Yes, you. It has been a tough 2020 year so far. Am I right? I mean, in fact, that's probably the one thing in the world right now that everybody would be able to agree on is that man, 2020 has been rough. It just seems like it has completely, you know, uniquely affected every single person in the in our nation, in America, and across the world. If your goals for 2020 has been met with barriers and obstacles, it is no wonder. Okay, you guys, so consider it your blessed day if you are watching this right now because I'm gonna break down for you guys how you can begin to refocus your life on your 2020 goals as opposed to focusing on everything else that's going on in the world. Grab some water, grab a snack, and get on back here so that we can go. Why is that train training while I'm trying to <laughs> do my video? Grab some water, grab a snack, and tell yourself while you're at it that you are loved, that you are beautiful, and you are worth it. And then get back here so that we can go ahead and get into this. Right here, right now, at Beauty and Beyond with Davion. Hey, so if you guys were like me, you were super gung-ho and super excited when 2020 came about. I don't know if it was something just about the fact that it was 2020 and so it was just really unique and, you know, 2020 vision and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if it was that or what it was, but it just seemed like it was so exciting for 2020 to hit. I mean, I remember posting my New Year's resolution video and there's so many things that I went over. There was tips and tricks about how you can, um, you know, not fall back into your old ways once you have set your New Year's resolution and once you set your goals for 2020. And, you know, I think that they were just awesome, awesome advice and tips. Just how you will be met with different obstacles. But if you plan for that and you utilize ways to kind of combat those obstacles then you would be able to get through it and push through it standing tall on the other side like that is the whole point of goals you know we're going to have obstacles to reach our goals so the whole point was just to be ready for it but then the pandemic hit and everything we knew about our lives was violently pushed off course and it's not like this was some sort of obstacle that we could have seen coming it's not like it was something that we could have planned for or that we somehow could have prevented. It was 100% out of our hands. And that's kind of one of the reasons it sucks so badly. Nothing we could do about it. Millions upon millions of people became unemployed. Those who were not unemployed suddenly had to figure out how to, you know, work from home. Just things became very different. You know, we have bills, we have families. And so it really hit us hard. So then just as we were learning more and more about the virus and how to defeat it, tragedy struck once more. The murder of George Floyd, uh, a black man who was 
arrested for an alleged uh, counterfeit $20 bill. And because we were all already at home, you know, in quarantine or definitely limited in what the things that we used to do, our, our activities, where we used to focus our attention, uh, because of that, his murder was definitely like shoved right in our face. We There was no way for us, for our busy lives to ignore it. And uh, it is something that I think so many people in America have watched and have deemed it absolutely 100% unacceptable. We couldn't turn away from it, you know? It was like a, a train wreck times a thousand. This was something that we had to look, stare down the face of and figure out what the heck is going on in America. So you guys, we all know what happened after that, right? After that, protesting happened. Yes, rioting happened, looting happened, and to this day, there are still, you know, it was May 25th that it happened. And um, to this day, people are still protesting. You know, we are still protesting. It's so hard to get focused because we're never gonna go back to our normal routine or to the routine that we used to have. So now what we need to do is start looking forward in our new normal. And, you know, I think that some of us perhaps thought that it would go away after a few months. Uh, and, you know, I'm just realizing more and more, and you probably are too, this is not going away anytime soon. And so we absolutely need to start preparing ourselves and we start need to, we need to start doing things in spite of this pandemic going around because we cannot have our lives put on hold forever. Like we have to start moving forward in life. We can no longer just stand still and, 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 you know, hope and pray for the best and hope and pray for this vaccine. It will come. All of that will come and we will get over this. I know that too. But in the meantime, we cannot sit around and let our goals and dreams and aspirations just fall to the wayside. We got to get up and start doing something about it. Am I right? Are you guys with me on that? Hit the like button if you agree. So you guys, that is what I'm here to do today. I am going to give you some awesome tips on how how you can begin to refocus your life, get back on track with a laser focused mentality to reach your goals, the goals of 2020 that you had already. You do not have to put them to the wayside. You can still reach your goals. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Number one, the very first thing you have to do, you must do is make up your damn mind. <laughs> make it up in your mind that yes, I am going to go ahead and get back on my goals, get back on my dreams, get back on my um, aspirations. You have to make it up in your mind. Look, you guys, human beings, we are a very powerful source and we wield our power through the power of our minds, the power of thought, the power of belief, the power of doing. So it is in our minds where we wield our power. Therefore, once you make it up in your mind that you're no longer going to ignore or, you know, put fault to the wayside or neglect your goals and dreams for 2020 or in your life in general, magic happens. Make up your mind and magic happens. Number two, execute, execute, execute. Let me do that again. Execute, execute, execute. It is one thing for us to make up our minds, right? And make a decision that that's what we're gonna do, that we're not gonna let anything hold us back. It is a completely different ball game and beast to execute on your goals and dreams. What do I mean by that? Listen guys, cause you gotta hear this. You can take tiny steps. As long as you do it consistently, every single day, you can take tiny steps to reach your goals. It, you know, you may not be able to go into it 100% full force right away and that's fine. Take consistent tiny steps or consistent big steps or consistent leaps if you will and you will get that much closer to reaching your goal. So what I'm saying is don't try to swallow your entire goal you know with, with one bite. <laughs> you need to maybe bite it up, break it up and, and do something small and consistent every single day. Even if you choose to do one one meaningful thing every single day and this meaningful thing is going to in fact get you closer a step closer to reaching your goals and your dreams that's awesome that's all you need that's execution there's a quote that I love and I'm gonna have to get the uh, author of the quote for you guys but the quote says do something today that will make your future self proud I absolutely love that quote It is so true do something meaningful today, you guys. Even if it's a tiny step, do something that is going to make your future self proud. 
Number three, self-care. If there is something in your life that is holding you back, for instance, um, for me, it is getting consistent. It seems out of reach at times. The reason being is because I know that I fluctuate mentally, right? Like, like one day I can be in a mentally stable and a mentally solid place, but the next day I'm not. So one day I am just determined as all heck to reach my goals, the next day I could fall into a depression for a day or however long. And so that is something that I need to work on, you know, self-care. There's so many different things that we can do and that we need to do. We need to put our self-care first. It's like that is the only way that not only you're going to be able to reach your goals, but you're going to be able to be who you need to be for your family or whoever it is that depends on you. So you should try and identify something that you know is holding you back. And if you don't know, then I want you to start thinking about it. What is it? Is it that you are not going to sleep on time? Is it that you're not waking up on time? Is it that you're not eating healthy? There's something that is holding you back. There are always things that, you know, that we can do better, but you should be able to identify at least one thing that is absolutely holding you back so that you can start focusing on it and start making changes. I can't stress this enough you guys like we all struggle it's true of course every single one of us we struggle it is what you do in the midst of your struggle it is what you do after your struggle that you will really determine where your life is going to go what do you do in your struggle what do you do with your struggle do you seek resolutions um, do you seek ways to help yourself or do you just allow it to to keep you down for a prolonged period of time physically mentally emotionally that is what is going to get you results by working on th these things. Be patient with yourself, you know, stop bullying yourself. It's not helping. It's worsening matters. So don't bully yourself. Be patient with yourself. But nonetheless, absolutely have some self-care in your life. Number four, number four, number four, number four, number four. Get yourself an effective routine. You know, this one has always been so crazy for me because I have always been a spontaneous type person and, and, and I like to live on the edge of my seat and freely and this, that, and the other. <laughs> um, but you know, I have learned as I, as the years have gone by, as I have gotten older, I have learned that you have to have routine. It has to be an effective routine if you're gonna reach your goals. Like, it's so important to have routine. And so, like I said, all of us are, you know, probably out of our normal, typical routines right now, or we're just got, getting back into the swing of things for our new routine. Whatever it is, definitely put some focus and some energy on your routine. So I know that it's so hard to maintain a routine in the midst of this chaos, in the midst of of, you know the world going crazy <laughs> because we focus on chaos over our routines you know it's not hard to do so whether you have slipped into a non-routine existence like prior to the pandemic or even after the pandemic it doesn't matter just start it now start getting an effective routine in place. So uh, some advice that I would love to give you guys is what you can do to start getting routines and, and healthy habits or things that you want to start doing, you can try and implement them in the midst of something that you are already doing on a habitual basis. So let's say that there is something that, you know, your mind is already doing for you and this is a routine, a habit that you already have and you do it every single day without even thinking about it. That is where you can slip in some new routines uh, so that you can add some new routines into your already um, established routines. So I'll give you an example. And, and of course, always you guys start small. If you need to start small, then start small. So uh, let's say that you want to start exercising. Let's say that you want to start eating healthier and it's really hard. It, absolutely. It's just hard to, to get started on uh, an effective routine. 
Um, but what you can do, say you're in the routine of taking a walk every single day, but you also wanna be in the routine of eating healthy every single day. So what you can do is right before or right after your walk, the walk that you take already, the one that is already habitual in your mind, uh, you can grab a healthy snack before or after your walk. And you are just going to kind of start implementing it little by little, baby step after baby step. With an already established routine, you kind of almost trick your mind into thinking that it's part of your routine that that is already happening for you automatically. Or say you want to start going to bed at a certain time, like you go to bed too late right now, you wanna start going to bed earlier. What is something that you do every single night, no matter what, you already have it in your mind, it's already habit, a built-in habit for you. What is something that you do? Maybe it is washing your face, maybe it is brushing your teeth, whatever it is, that's when you want to start implementing this new thing that you want to add into your routine. So if it's um, that you wanna go to sleep earlier and you know that you brush your teeth every single night, say, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and implement going to sleep right after my routine, my normal habitual routine. Um, and you guys, so I have done this and it really works. It's really awesome. It's a smart, smart way to go. Um, um, is to implement things within things that are already implemented in your mind. Okay, you guys, number five, have faith in your abilities. Believe in yourself. Believe in your abilities. You can do this. You can do it. You can do it. And also believe that your dreams will come true. It is so hard to, you know, I, I know it is so hard to have a vision and see yourself in the vision in the future and, and living your best life. But you guys, do it. You can. Make it a point to see yourself having reached your goal. Meditate on it. Dream about it. Talk about it. Write about it. Be about it. I'm telling you guys, you gotta just believe. Believe and have faith in yourself and in your abilities because you can do it. You can do it even when your progress is slow, even when you wanna give up, I promise you, you can do it. Look what I'm implementing again, because I know I haven't been doing it, so. You can do it. You can do it. Puedes hacerlo you can do it. And I'll do it without the rolling of the tongue so it'll be easier for you guys to hear what I'm saying. Puedes hacerlo. Puedes hacer, hacerlo. <laughs> it's hard for me to not to roll my tongue, but puedes hacerlo. Puedes hacerlo, which is Puedes hacerlo. Okay, you guys, I really hope you got something out of this. And if you did, hit that like button for me. Comment below, one through five. If one of those was helpful for you guys, um, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel because that is the types of things that I bring on this channel. Helpful info, hopefully. <laughs> helpful info, and then also, you know, outer beauty stuff. So makeup, hair, fashion, things like that. I do unboxings of BoxyCharm and of Ipsy. So I would love, love, love for you to join this family. Okay, you guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye. <gasps> <gasps> Whoops. Bye. Beyonce, bitch. <laughs> you can do it. 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 Puedes hacerlo. Puedes hacerlo. Puedes hacerlo. Boop, 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 boop. Puedes hacerlo, you can do it. Puedes hacerlo, you can do it. Puedes hacerlo, you can do it. Puedes hacerlo, you can do it.